Hey everyone, it's Saruke, and today is the last episode of Art Supply Roulette. I don't have the sticker because I could remember off the top of my head which item it was. So I'm just gonna remove this wheel now. Um, I don't think I'm throwing it away. Here is what we have left. This is my Schmincke Academie watercolor set. And um, I got the tin off of eBay, no, off of Amazon, sorry. And uh, the stickers are from various uh, artists. I'll link them all down below. Anyway, so this is my set of Schminke Academie watercolors and the Academie or Academie. It's German, I don't really know. Um, it's their student line, just like the Kottmann watercolors are Winsor Newton student line. Um, this set grew quite quickly over December and Christmas because uh, I bought one of those Schminke uh, advent calendars. Uh, Doodle Date did a video on one of those and I was like, yes, I need this. So I think I doubled the amount of pans I have in my set and it just, it's really nice. So I'm going to figure out what I'm drawing today and uh, I'll be using these paints to paint it. <laughs> Look at this, my hand is cramping. That is, okay. Okay, so I've spent about a month on this video. I didn't want to know that, but I checked when I recorded that very first introductory clip, and it's from the 24th of February. Just what? What has happened? I don't even know. Uh, but yes, in today's video, I'm going to be drawing Lucas and Alex, because I decided pretty quickly that I was going to draw Lucas and Alex. Uh, on a side note, the sketchbook I'm working in is almost finished. I have like two pages left in it, so you're gonna get another sketchbook tour soon. Well, as soon as I draw something on those last two pages. So of all the sketches I did, I really liked the last one. Uh, I did want this really floaty, cute pose for them, and I really wanted to dress them up in some skirts or dresses or something. So uh, I ended up putting Alex in a skirt, and then I gave a sort of t-shirt dress to Lucas. I just really, I don't know, Boys in dresses are cute. It's just, is that just me? Or is that like, I don't know. I just, I want more boys to wear skirts and dresses, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I, I scanned it in and cleaned it up and made a cleaner sketch in Paint Tool Psy that I later could use for um, transferring onto a watercolor paper. From becoming ridiculously long I only recorded a tiny bit of the transfer process and I skipped the inking entirely because my inking isn't that interesting I don't think so anyway let me know actually what part of the video or what part of the art process you enjoy watching the most is it like it's is it the sketching the inking or the coloring I'll put up a poll and you can answer there uh, which part of the process you enjoy the most. So maybe I can get you. I just personally think inking is, well, my inking is very boring because I don't add a lot of, a lot of flourishes and stuff to my inking. So 
um, you would just be watching me do the sketch one more time basically um, so yeah I went ahead with the watercolors and uh, I actually banned myself from using the Pentel Aquash I I don't know, nine times out of ten, I will go for my aquash because I just find it really convenient and easy. But I have a, I have a lot of nice paintbrushes for watercolor that I don't use. So I I put a ban on myself to not use that aquash. And it was it was hard. It was super difficult because I found that I I'm not using nearly as wa much water as I should. Um, and because I I realized I wasn't, I kind of overcompensated and then started using too much water. So it was just, uh, I think I need to practice using regular wa uh, watercolor brushes. So that's the coloring process. I do like how it's turning out. Uh, I was working very light too, so I ended up having to go back several times and layer on shadows and stuff, which isn't ideal when you're working with student grade watercolors because they have a tendency to lift a lot more easily. Uh, then uh, high, more high quality ones. These are really nice watercolors though. Like even if they're student line, uh, I really like them. <laughs> the background I I wanted a sky I wanted a really pretty sky background and I wasn't quite sure how to do it so I ended up taking a Derwent in ink tense pencil which is water soluble but permanent and I drew out the line art or the contour for the background using that and then I wet the painting Ugh. I wet the background area by area and filled it in with a single pigment color. I think it's single pigment. Either way, it's just cyan. I didn't mix any colors to make the sky background. I just, I wanted one single color so I didn't have to mix any if I should happen to run out. And it turned out really nice, way nicer than I thought it would. I thought I would fail this background completely, but I didn't. It actually turned out pretty cute and I like it. Um, I actually did a mock-up of this entire drawing on the computer before I did it, especially when I wanted to put in the background because it was a it was kind of an afterthought. So uh, I did have a mock-up on the computer that I could look at. Uh, I didn't freehand this. I wish I could have freehanded it, but I was too scared to mess it up. So yeah, that's that's it. This is the entire drawing. I did add some highlights here at the end and. Uh, I keep sticking my face in the camera. I am terribly sorry. My hair is wet. I had just taken a shower. Uh, but anyway, this was... I can't believe it's taken me a month to get this done. I thought maybe it had taken me two weeks or three, but no, it's, it's taken me a month. Wonderful. But I do like the drawing, so I guess that's a reward in itself. What if I had spent a month on this and didn't like it at all? Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Next week will definitely be a giveaway video because now March is... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so terribly sorry about the giveaways. It... You know. You know. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the process. Don't forget to vote in the poll. And I hope to see you guys soon again. Until next time. Keep on scribbling, friends. Bye. Bye.